Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get. Not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call, or a person, boundaries, still angry. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Bottom of the deck, not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear or ego issues, jealousy. Let's also pull from this oracle deck. Be assertive. Unlikely. Reconsider. and take action. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about these energies. Here we go. So, current situation, the Empress, Page of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups, Challenge, the Fool, Your Energies, the Devil, Two of Swords, Your Person's Energies, the Moon, Eight of Cups, Our Focus, Queen of Wands, and Bottom, of the deck Queen of Pentacles extremely open willing to nurture and take care of a connection for example she can be perceived as a source of advices words of encouragement even practical support uh, this can be what this person has seen in you guys also taking into consideration the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles energy. So a spark of passion was ignited, uh, Page of Wands, Queen of Wands. The Devil can even be an energy about um, a lot of attraction, uh, chemistry, desire, lust. And this can be one of those interactions that uh, maybe were ignited because there was a spark uh, between two persons, but then some of you may have noticed that something was out of place with this person because the moon is an energy about the unknown something that is hidden something that is different from how it seems there is a veil of illusion confusion words left unsaid this can be an elusive person guys and the moon plays a role also in the eight of cups it's in the background we have also the moon in the background of the two of swords and that's why some of you can close yourself because there is a perception that a devilish influence is playing a role within the connection that's why be assertive is a crucial advice it's unlikely for this connection to take off the fool in the challenge Reconsider can be a change of mind. 
So feelings can be kept under the surface, king of cups. Flirtatious approach, yes, but all of a sudden, um, not enough. Not exactly fulfilling. The Empress and the Nine of Pentacles are not going to settle for a situation that is just a casual chance. Despite the passion, despite the opportunity to have fun with each other, the Empress is looking for a healthy growth in favor of a connection so that it can achieve the highest possible potential. And the Nine of Pentacles lady is uh, looking for a fair companion, as I usually say. Someone that can share virtues, values and aspirations someone that can join forces in order to build for the future something is off with this person so let's find out more let's see King of Wands, a match for the Queen, in this case we are truly talking about um, an extremely fiery interaction, a lot of desire, a lot of passion, but you know, the devil on your side is a, a ringing bell, and the, the lady in the Two of Swords can protect herself. Ace of Swords, this is a decision guys. The Two of Swords is a crossroads. Some of you um, will have to make a decision about this person, basically. The Not Today, Not Enough Oracle cards are meaningful, but uh, the, the outcome is going to be directed towards a healthy scenario for you in order to be happier making healthy choices in love and in life four of cups there can be an offer coming from this person but the feeling is that considering how closed off is the lady in the two of swords some of you can be the man under the tree in the four of cups out of reach not available to this uh, connection at the 100 percent and the two of swords comes back recurrent energy Some of you can take a step back from the passionate exchange that is involved in order to get a wider perspective about the situation so that you can realize that there is something that is missing. If you take away the uh, sexual and passionate side of the interaction. Let's see the full. Knight of Swords, uh, this is a fast, quick and sudden energy of communication. Um, also, someone that uh, rushes in whenever they like. But, you know, boundaries. This can become a problem. And the Death card, the situation is going to change. The death card is a revolution, a transition, uh, it can be an inner process, death and rebirth process. It is an energy that I personally love because it's an opportunity to sweep away leftovers uh, from the past so that we can leave an open field on an energy level and we can manifest new things. In this case, this interaction, and I say interaction and not partnership because the nine of pentacles is about the fact that we are still single you know we can hang out together we can even date but we are not um talking about a proper couple yet and the fool is not uh, 
going in favor of the opportunity to be together. Let's see your side. Eight of Pentacles. Uh, this is about effort, a mindset, a mentality, dedication, determination. There is a drive in order to manifest into reality goals and successful outcomes. There is also an attention to the details that is crucial in this situation because your attention to the details can allow you guys to notice, to spot something that can bring clarity in your favor so that you can speak up kind of saying that maybe the situation is not uh, what you were thinking at the beginning. Six of Pentacles, fair and fair exchange for me in order to avoid the woman up, woman down dynamic, but considering the devil, guys, that is an energy about excesses, um, some of you may question the balance, the fairness, the equal give and take uh, involved in the situation. And that's why the Ten of Swords can kick in as a, a choice, a decision, a final call. This is not the situation for us. It's a disappointment. The Ten of Swords, yes, absolutely. I cannot uh, sugarcoat it, but you know. This can even be the opportunity to avoid something that um, can become even worse moving forward. The lovers. The devil and lovers duality or vice versa, the other side of the coin. Um, this is a heart over head decision because if you are looking for a lovers uh, type of energy and you spot a devilish situation, uh, it can be, again, a ringing bell. And despite the passion, despite the chemistry, we are lacking other key elements. Let's see your person side. King of Swords. So this person can be extremely clear with the things that they want, but it seems that the expectations about the situation uh, are not properly matched between the two of you. Eight of Cups one more time. Elusive, again, this is the word that keeps coming to my mind, and then it is fair to say that if the situation uh, is going to find a closing point, this person will hit the road, but you know, the High Priestess, extremely quiet this person, but their silence can become a source of discomfort. It can become uncomfortable for another person. Because it can be... It can be about one of those individuals that... They do not know how to embrace a conversation in a pleasant way uh, in order to make other people feel that everything is fine, everything is flowing properly within the interaction, you know? The high Priestess is about intuition, but in this case, guys, the moon and your perception of a devilish situation are all factors that are not playing in favor of this person. Knight of Pentacles, this is the type of offer that um, doesn't come, basically, because we know that uh, the knight is the slowest of the four knights in the deck, and despite how meaningful um, the energy can be, we are not on the same page. Bottom of the smaller deck, we have the Hierophant, which can be a counterpart for the High Priestess, but it seems that there is a different perspective about uh, the situation.
this person is looking at the opportunity from a different point of view considering yours guys and at some point what you can get from this interaction is not enough to justify a decision to take a chance with this person and it seems that they can even embrace your decision and move on I would say considering the double eight of cups energy the man in the eight of cups for me can be the fool so this person can even uh, turn their back on the situation when they realize that you are not buying it so guys some more oracle cards for guidance considering these energies here we go we get success um, what cannot be found here and this realization can kinda bring you guys um, to the moment of truth ace of swords related that can allow to share a decision that the situation is not for you balance lacking balance fairness respect and equal give and take I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment absolutely no judgment but an evaluation a fair evaluation about the opportunity to be successful together there is something that is not how it seems um, with this person and they can be elusive even if they speak in a precise way when it comes to what they want uh, the flow of the communication is not precise meaning that if you ask them something they give you a generic answer you know they only say what they think can be useful to them and this is a big problem if we are trying to understand um, if there is a chance to be together you know friendship well guys I have to be honest I do not think that this person is going to remain a good friend uh, maybe the interaction started because there was a friendly vibe page of ones type of energy but you know I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason maybe also for some of you uh, trusted people can offer some advice in your favor and then we get present you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances uh, this is about paying attention guys to what uh, you can experience um, when you share time with an individual like this one uh, and we come back to the consideration about the necessity to pay attention to the little details the eight of pentacles uh, type of energy it is uh, something extremely important in order to break free from a challenging uh, devilish influenced uh, type of situation that doesn't seem to be enough uh, for uh, those of you that can resonate with this scenario you are not uh, buying the interaction with this person not today not dealing boundaries also setting boundaries yes and a change of mind so that you can take action in order to find something better I would say it can be the wisest choice according to these energies so guys I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time I wish you the best take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon bye